there is a standard certification for certifications. ISO standard 17024. Who knew, right? Well, uh, we knew. Um, the ISC2 knew, uh, and the CISSP has been certified under the ISO 17024 standard. Um, so you're, you know, if you're going for your CISSP, you get uh, two certifications for the price of one. Well, not really, but uh, your certification is certified. Um, they, the standard uh, for certification uh, ensures a, a variety of things, but uh, one of the things that it uh, is mitigating against is uh, people who are simply teaching to the standard. If uh, you have a, an education office um, associated with the institution that uh, is issuing the certificates, um, then the education office has to be quite distinctly separate from the, uh, the assessment, the examination, the, the testing. Uh, and certification office. Um, I uh, have always been on the uh, uh, the education side of uh, the CISSP. Um, I have submitted questions, but they go to the uh, examination committee, and they may modify them, they may accept them, they may not. Um, I don't know. I, I am never told. Uh, and that is as it should be. This is part of the Brewer-Nash model. This is an illustration of the Brewer-Nash model. The, the Chinese firewall, um, which is intended, partly, to ensure that there is no uh, uh, conflict of interest uh, set up um, in regard to uh, a, an organization, an entity, uh, both uh, doing the certification, uh, testing, assessing the candidates for certification, and uh, doing uh, preparation for the certification. Now, uh, some things that um, the ISO uh, 17024 standard uh, prevent or, or uh, restrict you from doing uh, are um, well for example we used to do uh, comparative uh, statistics with regard to um, who passed the exam and, and what kind of training did they take uh, it was rather interesting results in some cases there was one a uh, person who taught a very popular course. Um, everybody really enjoyed it uh, until they got to the exam and found that actually, and, and we had the statistics to prove this, um, it would have been better to take no preparation at all than to take his course. That his uh, students and candidates from his seminars uh, did in fact worse than people who did no preparation at all, which was kind of bizarre. Um, anyways, um, but uh, once uh, ISC2 and the CISSP became certified, uh, we could no longer do those kinds of statistics. Well, you know, why not? Uh, well, uh, that would give uh, ISC2 an unfair advantage in terms of doing the seminars. Um, uh, if the, uh, uh, you know, the outfit that is doing the certifications is uh, providing seminars, um, the, and, and uh, is allowed to perform that type of statistical analysis, it would, even without uh, providing for, for back channels between the uh, 
uh, the teaching staff, the education side, and the certification, the examination side, uh, I'll give us an advantage, uh, give ISC2, rather, an advantage in terms of uh, tuning the, uh, the seminars. And I could use that as a selling point. You know, we, uh, people who take our seminars do better than people who take anybody else's seminars, whatever. Uh, now, but uh, certain things uh, that are restricted under the certification are completely understandable uh, because, of course, we know the Brewer Nash model. We know the Chinese wall model. And so um, there is this very strict separation between the education office and the testing office. Uh, and the uh, uh, a director of operations of the past, who, of course, was primarily involved with uh, the examinations, um, we used to joke that when we met each other at conferences, we couldn't talk to each other uh, because I was on the education side, he was on the testing side. So, um, but it, you know, this is, this is something that uh, is completely understandable, that, that if, uh, you know, if I, and, and, you know, now that I'm preparing my own courses, um, if I have some kind of input to uh, the examination team, if I know what kinds of questions uh, the examination team is, is putting on the exam, if I know where they are uh, even emphasizing. Um, it's very interesting in, the, uh, in terms of the statistics that we used to be able to take, um, and I'm sure that this in, uh, part of it's, it's still true, um, that the uh, the difference between passing and failing uh, is a very narrow gap. And so, you know, if, if I could get, you know, even a hundred uh, possible questions out of uh, the exam bank, that might give my students, you know, if I, I gave them those questions as, you know, this is likely to be on the, the exam, um, that may be enough to, to tip them over, even without them studying and, and understanding fully uh, the field. Um, I, you know, so uh, having, having access to the examination questions is, you know, obviously uh, it's going to lead to teaching to the exam. It's obviously going to lead to conflict of interest type situations and uh, would be best stayed away from. So, you know, completely understandable uh, uses of uh, reasons for the Brewer-Nash model from the CISSP exam itself.